Hello and welcome to Spread Book Joy. Today I'm going to be talking about this beautiful book, The Gilded Ones by Namina Fauna. If you're new to the channel, I'm Jack, qualified primary school teacher looking to spread the joy of books and reading as far and wide as possible. If you take a look at my uh, channel, I've got great recommendations for children for home or school and also for young adult and for adult reads. So this beautiful book I've been meaning to read for a while, I just want to just examine and just show you how gorgeous this cover is. The cover art is by Johnny Tarajosu. Um, I don't know, is that there? Johnny Tarajosu. And it's absolutely stunning and it's gilded because of course the title is The Gilded One. So it's kind of, you know, it's sparkly and gold and you've got these lovely sprayed edges. Um, always a fan when a, a publishing house who are Usborne Books actually, they um, put a lot of effort into the covers and things like that, absolutely gorgeous. Really bit disappointed though, mine turned up from Waterstones crushed a little bit, which is really disappointing, but I did get a lovely uh, signed copy, which is really nice. This is a teen YA book, uh, actually young adult, so I would say ch um, at 16 plus I would go for, I would recommend, because there is some trigger warnings here there uh, is quite a lot of violence, although it is proportionate to the story, and I'll explain what that means in a moment. And there's uh, sexual assault um, refer references. There are no scenes of sexual assault, but characters talk about um, assaults that they've suffered. So there's some trigger warnings there for some um, <clears throat> quite deep and dark themes. Like I said, it's a YA book. It's a West African inspired fantasy. And we follow Decca, who is the main protagonist. And in the country where Decca lives, it's very patriarchal. Women are brought up in the religion of Oyomo and they are subservient to men. They're there to help men. They're there to be men's helpmeets and partners. And that's what they're there for. They're not um, important uh, as people on their own or individuals and the they just hope that they can make good marriages and, and things like that and they get to <clears throat> a certain age and they have to go through a ritual of purity so when they get to they come of age they have to be bled because in their country some women when they reach um, m maturity and I'm assuming that's sort of you know um, like puberty that they bleed gold when they're bled and those women who bleed gold also have some other strange powers about them and everyone in this country has been brought up to believe that these women are impure that they're demons and that they need to be killed so if they uh, one of the things that happens is they they bleed gold but they also um they can't be killed conventionally each one has a different way of being killed and so they might have to be beheaded or burned or drowned and uh, when Decca comes of age and her ritual of purity uh, she, the day of her ritual of purity her village is attacked by death shrieks now death shrieks are the monsters that the kingdom are battling against and the death shrieks have been attacking and killing and slaughtering soldiers and people and the day of Decca's purity ritual in her village in the northern part of the country which is deeply religious she is um, she's discovered to be impure because not only does she bleed gold but she also controls the death shrieks with her voice so she's taken by the village elders and they try to kill her in a number of different ways and this is what I mean by the violence uh, within the book it's gr not extremely graphic uh, in the sense that they don't they describe what's done to her but it's not in it's not done in a way that made me very too overly squeamish uh, but they is very violent and so she's it's you know they, they kill her many many times and they start draining her blood because of course their blood is gold so it's worth a lot so but she's rescued by someone who says that the emperor actually wants the help of the gilded ones the the unpure girls to fight off the death shrieks because they can't be killed conventionally so they're going to use them as a sort of um, front line to go in and kill as many death shrieks as possible before the regular army does. So that's the premise of the story. I enjoyed this book a lot. It's a typical teen YA in many ways. Uh, there is a bit of um, not insta love uh, between her and another character. I think it was built up ni much nicely, much more nicely than it has in some other young adult books that I've read. But the characters are, um, I thought, 
like I liked Decker as a character. I thought her change as she goes through from being someone who is really devout uh, to recognising to the damage that's been done to her, I thought that was handled really nicely. Um, I think the relationships within the book, she builds up a little found family and that's always lovely. I like a found family trope. And actually the story itself, the world building, I thought was fairly solid, although at the end I was left with quite a few questions about the how this all came about. So without going into too many spoilers, I don't really want to go into it, but the, 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 the explanation for the origin of the Gilded Ones and their role in the kingdom and the society and how it all came about I felt there were some gaps if you would but I'm hoping they're going to be answered in the next book so I really enjoyed this book and I'd recommend it for ages 16 plus given the violence inherent in it and actually I think the the sexual violence that's mentioned in it is quite extreme Um, it's not uh, there's no there are no scenes of it but one character describes things that have been done and not graphically but enough that it's quite shocking so i think 16 plus i would say for children for anyone reading this book i hope you enjoyed this review please click like and subscribe and do check out my other reviews if you enjoyed this one and hopefully i'll see you again here soon bye